Welcome to episode 3 of Music Chatterbox Singapore. This episode is going to be a battle of the drums because today we have the Hua Peng Gu and the Tabla. Let's welcome our two amazing drummers, Rushab and Branson. Branson, I feel like most Chinese percussive pieces, they start with the same rhythmic phrase, tak 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 tak. Do you know why this is the case? I think that must have been from Lion Dance, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically what you just did, right, was you vocalized the drums. So we have this thing in Chinese drumming called Luo Gu Jing. So this is kind of like a score, you can say, like instead of notes on the score, right, we see Chinese characters. Like for example, in this case, in the Hua we have characters like Cha, Ta, Tong, or Yi. Okay, so these four characters, let me just show you something. For example, if I sing, sing to you this, Ta, Da, 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 Ta, Yi, Ta, Tong, Tong, Ta, Tong, Ta, Ta, Da, 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 Tong, Cha. Right, okay, now listen to this. That was actually so interesting. Essentially, the vocalization of the sounds via an oral incantation, that acted as a mode of instruction to help you learn the piece. Rushab, in the case of the tabla, will you say that this is similar? So it's very similar to the Chinese drums. We have this thing called a bowls. It's what we do is we take these basic sounds, for example, uh, ge, na, dinna, dinna, and then we sort of string them together to make these phrases, for example, uh, and then what we do is we then we then use this as a theme and then we repeat the theme and after each repetition we like add new ornamentations, add new things and then that's how we sort of improvise on these themes that we have. You mentioned that improvisation is very important to the performance of the tabla. Would you say that it's used like in majority of the performances? So yeah, a large part of our performances is, uh, is improvised. I mean, of course, we have some things in the back of our mind, but beyond that, it's mostly improvised. So, Branson, given that you have, a, you have sheet music to go off from, like, would you say that the performance is slightly less nerve-wracking? Uh, definitely not. I'm pretty sure Rusha can relate. It's equally nerve-wracking. I mean, this drum is so obvious. Imagine, like, the orchestra is playing something soft, and then you just suddenly hear. <laughs> it's super loud, so everybody would know that you made a mistake. So, not just that, I also got to find the right way to play it. Like, I got to consider like the showmanship, a little bit of how I show the expression and stuff. So all those really gives me a bit of nerves. Would you be able to show us how you imbue showmanship into your playing? Yeah, definitely. So, when it comes to the drums, okay, when we play on like, for example, the kusing, kusing refers to the center of the drums. You can get a sound like this, right? But then if you want to put in some showmanship, you probably do something like this. Okay, so on, and the next one is the, the Gu Kuang. Gu Kuang is the rim of the drums. Okay, so I can play, get a sound like this. Or if I want to put more body into it, get a bigger sound probably. And then another one is Gua Gu Ting, okay, which is scraping the nail of the drums. So you get this scrapey sound, right? So if I want to put in more body language and more like oomph into it, it's going to be like So we kind of discussed the use of oral incantations uh, as a method of learning pieces for both of your instruments. We actually designed a fun challenge that is based off of that. Are you guys ready? Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Who's gonna go first? <laughs> Alright, let's do it!
impressive. Although I have no clue what the conversation was about. I think we've witnessed how great you know, these two young musicians are at improvisation. But right now, we have something special prepared for you guys. A cross-cultural duet between the tabla and the huapeng group. Modern Western pop music, such as maybe this, 